welcome back to Follow Your Heart Homestead. Today you're going to join me in the kitchen. We are going to make the classic Amish um, friendship bread today. We are going to join the exclusive farm wife's um, challenge in November of every Friday making a recipe from our friendship bread starter. Um, we're super excited for this because that is one thing that I do buy out a lot is muffins because after feeding the baby all night long, I need a carb first thing in the morning right away because I'm, I enter that I'm hungry and cranky stage <laughs> if I don't. So I have a carb and oh, I have a protein to counteract, but I do buy muffins regularly. Um, so if I can find a way to replace it, I really want to. So that's what I'm hoping this does. So this week we are going to use the recipe from Typical Mom's blog for the Amish. My brain is fried today. For the Amish um, friendship bread. So we're gonna just do that. And then next week I found a muffin recipe that I would like to try. I'm gonna have to doctor it because it calls for stuff that I don't have but I think we'll be able to manage that. Um, our starter recipe came from Pikes Creek Farms uh, YouTube. She was very helpful on how to start it and we followed all her instructions and it rose. Again, we already used one cup of it. I'm gonna turn you a little bit. In the background, you're gonna hear Miss Rachel. Um, The baby and Justin are playing in the living room watching TV while she comes down for bed because it is 7.30 here. So this is their relaxing time together. So just so if you hear her in the background, that's why. All right, so let's go through this. We did take a cup of the starter and I am going to freeze this like I do my sourdough starter so that I always have a starter available in case life gets crazy and I don't get to take care of this one. Um, classically, this friendship bread is done in a Ziploc bag, but because I don't really like using Ziploc bags as throwaways and stuff, so we did put it in glass container. It has worked great. Um, I'm very happy for it. Look at the bubbles in there. Looks so good. So. so we're going to start with our oil. I did just wash my hands when I walked away. So I'm going to dump in two thirds cup of oil. I forgot to grab the eggs. Hold on one second. We have beautiful farm eggs. So we're going to use them. They're fresh. My girlfriend gave them to us because our chicken went was out on all our eggs. So it costs for three eggs with farm eggs, well any eggs because I'm not the best at cracking, I do like to use a bowl and dump them in like a bag. Orange yolk. So gorgeous. One. Started. 
So I have used now three cups of this, so this will be ready to be remade throughout the week. And then I will have it for next week to make our muffins. And we're going to dump that in there. smell the yeast in this. Alright. So there's that. Sorry when I disappear, I need to wash my hands and stuff, so. And our camera doesn't move like everybody else's, so this is what it is. So this now will go and it will sit for the next five days with me mixing it. And then I will add milk, flour, and water. It'll sit for three more days, and then we will be able to use it. Um, might have to use this starter next Friday. We'll have to see where we're at on days. Um, to make bread or muffins, because that way I have it. And it's ready to use. sitting next to its sister, the sourdough. Alright, so we got our oil, our eggs, and our starter in. Now, By spatula. So, of course, I don't have a spatula to mix. Because that is the way life is here. I don't think this is going to hold. Alright, we will mix this together a little bit, break up the eggs. Just and made them for me. All different colors. Alright. So we have a lot of our salt. Mix our salt. I'm gonna ask for vanilla. So we're gonna mix a teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> Kinda do it like my mom did. Just use the cap and go from there. Cinnamon. And we need a little spoon and a half. A teaspoon and a half. I did a quarter. I need another. Sugar, sorry. Cup of 
sugar. I don't blend this. I always like to blend up my wet stuff first so that it's nice and incorporated. Sugar. Here's our flour. Also, two cups of flour. wondering why my flour has lines, we use organic all-purpose flour from Costco's and then we use whole wheat flour from Azure bread flour but because my sourdough doesn't seem to work without the Costco's flour um, I used I found a way to at least get some whole wheat in all right, so I'm gonna mix this. It will get thick. I did earlier. Okay. This is where I knew this special wasn't gonna be much fun. All right. But we might do with what we got. Um, the kids and I made the first bread earlier so that I could try out the recipe and see what it's like and see if we like it and if I needed to add anything or tweak to it. Um, plus they love picking, so it was a fun activity to do on a rainy day. So, alright, that's all mixed up nicely. Um, now my hands. My hair's still a little wet from earlier today. So I'm gonna just try them off a little. Now this recipe makes for two loaves of bread. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, she said she made this earlier today too. And I did, but I sent home what the kids made with their parents. So today I did get to send home one loaf. Um, so we'll send home a second loaf too, so that the kids can have it and enjoy it at home. We don't keep it all and they enjoy it. Plus the fact that I don't need three loaves of bread here. I don't need two loaves of bread here. One will be more than enough. All right, so we need to I'll do that. I use a tip that we've seen all over the place of using your old butter wrappers to grease the pans. 
this is probably one of the best tips I've ever seen because it works great. You know everything's getting done and all that butter would have just gone into the trash. So this tip is great. Um, and one butter wrapper, more than I can get in two pans, which is so exciting. did ask for you to salt or sugar use cinnamon and sugar to flour the bread i wasn't a huge fan of that um we don't need the extra sugar so i am going to skip that step i don't see a purpose for it so maybe i'll regret it maybe i won't i'll have to wait and see all right so the next thing we do is add in our dough. Half in one pan and half in the other. Sorry, you hear the dishwasher. This is the end of the night. I can't tell. Actually, I do need to make the cinnamon coating because that goes on the top of the bread. This one done. What do your hands look like? Do you have little ones? That one's gonna go south. So our evenings, our dinner, a little bit of TV time and bath. And then they cuddle and go to bed. Oh. Love my glass bowl. The weight on it sometimes. After a long day, I can feel it. I didn't sugar the pans. I'm gonna need the brown sugar and er not the brown sugar. The brown sugar would actually be really good with this, but uh, the sugar and cinnamon to sprinkle on top. That is really yummy. Okay. Two seconds because I didn't think I needed that and I did call, 
I'm going to say for half a cup. So I'm going to use an eighth of a cup. Salmon or bread. This is a very sweet bread. It's more of a dessert bread than it is healthy bread. But I already have our sourdough, so I'm going to have healthy stuff. That in there. Mix it up. And then get your cinnamon sugar. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. And then we just sprinkle it on top for the crusty top. Again, I didn't do the pan. It did call for. That seems like a lot of sugar. Um, you to put it all over there, but I just found that to be more a waste. Ooh, probably a little bit less than an eighth of a cup. It doesn't seem like too much. The stove is already preheated at 375, so we are going to stick these in the stove as soon as this is done. And this will go home with two of my other kids so that they have what they made earlier in the day, kind of, to go home with them so that they can enjoy a nice dessert with their parents. Um, I would have... I had time and the start was ready. I would have made these earlier last night so that the, all the kids could bring home a dessert today because they cooked it, but because it didn't, the parents understand. So I will see you when it's done. I'm gonna stick it in. It says about 40 minutes to um, an hour. So I will stick it in and see where we're at. Alright, I'll see you in about an hour. Hi, it's been about 50 minutes and we pulled our bread out. Um, I did flip it already and set it off in the cooling rack to cool, but I did want to show you it real quick. Ooh, put some light on it. There we go. It came out really nice. Nice pretty loaves. Smells amazing. The whole house smells amazing right now. And it is ready to be wrapped tomorrow morning and given to the daycare kids families that didn't get one so that they can have the bread at home to cook because um, I don't need this much bread. And we did have a loaf that we used already. in the fridge so that they will have it throughout the week. I love the marble effect it has going on. Mine's not completely marbled because the cinnamon didn't go all the way through, but it has a beautiful marble effect. Um, this will probably be let me see. One muffin left, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe Monday's worth of bread for me to have snacks. Well, not for snacks, but more for my early breakfast to start the day. Um, so this will work. I do prefer the muffin form than I do a slice of bread. It's just more convenient. So. I am going to try the muffins next week. Next week we're going to try strawberry, cream cheese, friendship muffins. Um, the recipe is going to be adapted from the same recipe we used earlier, a typical mom's 
No, actually we found it somewhere else. I'll have to tell you next week where we got it from because I don't have that on hand. But this will cool. I will wrap it and put it aside for the kids to take home. And we are done. Well, I hope you had a great day. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to answer me. Join all of us that are doing Friendship Fridays. I'm pretty sure that's what she called it. Um, at Exclusive Wife Farmers, Farmers Wife's YouTube, where they have a lot of recipes for how to use your starter. Um, again, we start with a classical and we will experiment throughout the rest of the month. All right, I will see you in the garden later this week. And next week on Friday, we'll be in the kitchen. Have an amazing day. Or night. Whatever it is for you. <laughs> it's night for us. Uh, follow your heart and know where you're going. Let it lead your way.